Imagine suddenly losing your vision, partially or even completely. Scary, right? Eye diseases like cataracts, glaucoma, and age-related macular degeneration affect millions, especially as we age. But here's the good news. Certain nutrients can help protect your eyes and reduce the risk of these conditions. In today's video, we'll reveal the science behind maintaining sharp vision, uncover the most powerful nutrients for eye health, and expose the surprising habits that might be harming your eyesight. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. The undisputed queen of eye health is vitamin A. Vitamin A is a key component of rhodopsin, a visual pigment located in the rods of the retina. Rhodopsin is what allows us to see, especially in low light conditions. As you might guess, when there's a deficiency of vitamin A, rhodopsin levels drop, and this can lead to difficulty seeing in dim light, a condition commonly known as night blindness. What else should you know about vitamin A? It's often referred to as the guardian of our vision because, as research shows, it protects against several eye diseases, particularly cataracts and the very serious condition known as age-related macular degeneration. Scientific studies also suggest that vitamin A can be helpful in managing dry eye syndrome. The good news is that in developed countries, vitamin A deficiency is relatively rare. Now let's move on to another key ally for our eyes, vitamin E. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that combats free radicals, helping to counteract the harmful effects of oxidative stress. Why is this important? Because as it turns out, many eye diseases are linked to chronic oxidative stress, and these diseases, in turn, exacerbate that stress. One study found that consuming vitamin E through diet and supplements significantly reduced the risk of age-related cataracts. But that's not all. Another study suggests that vitamin E supplementation may offer benefits to individuals with moderate to severe forms of age-related macular degeneration. And since we're already talking about antioxidants, let's move on to another key player in this group, vitamin C. Here's an interesting fact for you. Vitamin C is a major component of the aqueous humor in the eye and its concentration there is higher than in any other bodily fluid. This alone highlights how crucial vitamin C is for eye health. So, how does vitamin C benefit our eyes? To answer this, let's turn to scientific research. Studies show that people who take antioxidant supplements, including vitamin C, are less likely to develop cataracts. To back this up, let me share the findings of a specific analysis. Women who regularly took vitamin C supplements for 10 years or more had a 45% lower risk of developing cataracts. But that's not all vitamin C does. It also plays a vital role in the production of collagen, a structural protein that is a key component of the cornea and sclera in our eyes. Now, what other eye-friendly nutrients can we find in the vitamin kingdom? If I were to rank the most important vitamins for eye health, I'd make an exception and add an extra spot on the podium for vitamin D. After hearing what I'm about to share, I think you'll agree that vitamin D deserves a place among the top leaders. In the world of science, numerous studies have highlighted the connection between vitamin D deficiency and the development of various eye-related pathologies. For example, research suggests that vitamin D can not only reduce inflammation in the eyes, but also inhibit the growth of cancerous cells, such as in the case of retinoblastoma, thereby lowering the risk of this type of cancer. Returning to what I mentioned earlier, it's important to note that a deficiency in vitamin D increases the risk of several conditions, including myopia or nearsightedness, age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, and inflammation of the uvea. That's quite a list. Before we transition from vitamins to minerals and other essential nutrients, let's take a moment to talk about another incredibly important group, B vitamins. Let's start with riboflavin also known as vitamin B2. This vitamin deserves special attention because it's part of the antioxidant family, those substances that help us combat oxidative stress, and yet it's often overlooked in this regard. Its importance for eye health is far from minor. In fact, severe and prolonged deficiency of vitamin B2 can lead to the development of cataracts. But what about the other B vitamins? Let's see what they have to offer for our eyes. One study found that daily supplementation with vitamin B6, vitamin B9, and vitamin B12 reduces the risk of age-related macular degeneration. This is linked to their ability to lower homocysteine levels. Other research points to a connection between vitamin B3 deficiency and the development of glaucoma, as well as the Benefits of vitamin B1, supplementation in alleviating symptoms of dry eye syndrome, such as pain, light sensitivity, and conjunctival redness. As you can see, the B vitamins play a significant role in maintaining the health of our eyes. And with that, we've concluded the topic of vitamins. But don't worry, our list of eye health allies doesn't end here. 
From the background of the vitamins we've discussed, a familiar figure is quietly stepping into the spotlight, our good old friend, Zinc. You've probably heard about Zinc being recommended for various issues, such as viral infections, skin problems, or brittle nails. But we must also remember that Zinc can greatly benefit our eyes. What exactly do I mean? For instance, zinc plays a crucial role in helping vitamin A travel from the liver to the retina, where it aids in the production of melanin, a pigment that protects our eyes from harmful ultraviolet radiation. But that's not all. This essential mineral has been shown to slow the progression of various eye conditions, particularly age-related macular degeneration. Let me share an important study with you. Researchers found that taking zinc in combination with vitamin C, vitamin E, and beta-carotene, a precursor to vitamin A, can slow the progression of age-related macular degeneration degeneration by 25% and improve visual acuity by 19%. Now let's turn our focus to omega-3 fatty acids, which are essential for maintaining eye health. A review of 31 studies suggests that increasing fish consumption and following a Mediterranean diet, which is rich in polyunsaturated fatty acids, can reduce the likelihood of developing diabetic retinopathy. Another analysis provides evidence that consuming at least 500 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids daily can have a protective effect on eye health. It's also worth mentioning mentioning that pregnant women who consume insufficient amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA, may increase the risk of their child developing vision problems later in life. While preparing for today's episode, one particular omega-6 fatty acid caught my attention, gamma-linolenic acid. I won't go into too much detail, but I will say this. If you're struggling with dry eye syndrome, it's worth including it in your diet. To encourage you further, let me share the findings of a study in which women who wore contact lenses experienced significant relief from dry eye symptoms after regularly consuming evening primrose oil. Notably, the first satisfying results appeared after just three months of supplementation. And with that, we've reached the final point on our list. But don't let its position fool you. This last item is by no means less important. In fact, you could say it's the cherry on top of today's discussion. I'm talking about lutein and zeaxanthin. I've intentionally grouped lutein and zeaxanthin together because they're like inseparable companions, often found together in nature. Let me be direct. Their role in maintaining eye health is invaluable. And here's why. First, they act as a natural filter for blue light, which is especially important in today's world considering how much time we spend in front of computers and smartphones. Second, they help reduce the risk of developing several eye conditions, such as age-related macular degeneration, retinal detachment, cataracts, glaucoma, and inflammation of the UVA. And third, they effectively improve visual acuity. Now I'd like to share some practical tips to help you take better care of your eyes. Let's get straight to the point and answer a few important questions. What harms our eyes the most? The truth is, there are quite a few factors that can negatively impact our vision. Often, we're not fully aware that some of our habits are actually damaging to our eyes. What habits am I talking about? Let's start with something that might not be so obvious. Or maybe it is. Who would have thought that smoking could destroy Destroy our eyes. If you smoke, you should know that with every puff, you're increasing your risk of developing cataracts, eye inflammation, and age-related macular degeneration. And I'm sure it won't surprise you to hear that smoking during pregnancy is almost a guarantee of vision problems for the child. Interestingly, one study found that children of mothers who smoked during pregnancy had a significantly higher likelihood of developing strabismus. Let me wrap up the topic of smoking here, though there's much more that could be said, and shift the focus to other equally important factors. So, what else can we consider as enemies of our eyes? One major culprit is polluted air, which can lead to chronic eye conditions, including dry eye syndrome. Next, there's ultraviolet radiation, which can contribute to the development of cataracts and even eye cancers. Another harmful habit is sleeping in contact lenses, which significantly increases the risk of corneal infections. Additionally, spending long hours staring at screens, whether it's your phone, tablet, or computer, can lead to computer vision syndrome. This condition manifests as symptoms like a gritty sensation in the eyes, blurry vision, light sensitivity, and eye fatigue. But that's not all. Women who wear eye makeup should also be cautious. Applying cosmetics near the eyelids, especially along the waterline, can lead to inflammation and surface eye diseases. Lastly, spending extended periods in air-conditioned environments can negatively affect the surface of the eye, often triggering symptoms of dry eye syndrome. Now let's flip the question. What habits can positively impact our eye health? We've already discussed the vitamins and minerals that should be part of your diet to protect and support your eyes. Now it's time to talk about good habits. One of the most important habits, perhaps the most important, 
is regular eye exams with an ophthalmologist or optometrist. If it's been a while since your last visit, I recommend writing yourself a reminder and placing it somewhere visible to schedule an appointment. If you're under 40 and don't have any concerning symptoms, it's generally sufficient to visit an eye doctor every two to three years. However, after the age of 40, it's a good idea to have your eyes checked at least once a year. Remember, our eyes age just like the rest of our body. And as time goes on, we become more susceptible to various eye conditions. What else should we keep in mind if we want to maintain healthy eyes for as long as possible? This might surprise some of you, but a true ally of our eyes is physical activity. You might be wondering, what does exercising have to do with eye health? As it turns out, quite a lot. To back this up, let me share some research findings. Studies show that regular exercise can lower intraocular pressure, reduce the risk of central retinal vein occlusion, improve blood flow to the eyes, and decrease the likelihood of developing diabetes. And with it, diabetic retinopathy, which is one of the leading causes of vision impairment in many countries. Now, how can we protect our eyes while working in front of a computer? I understand that simply saying, spend less time looking at screens, isn't always practical as many of us are required to use screens for work or study, but we can take steps to minimize the strain on our eyes. The first step is to ensure proper lighting. If possible, position your monitor in a way that allows as much natural light as possible to reach it. It's also crucial to maintain the correct distance. According to experts, the safe distance between your eyes and the monitor is 20 to 28 inches, 50 to 70 centimeters. If you're working after dark, make sure to turn on a light in the room so that the screen isn't the only source of illumination. I also recommend investing in anti-reflective glasses or screen filters. These special coatings reduce glare by allowing more light to pass through rather than reflecting it. Above of all, perhaps the most important thing is to take regular breaks during work. Some specialists recommend the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20-second break to look at something 20 feet about 6 meters away. This simple practice allows your brain to rest and your eyes to relax. And with that, we've reached the final piece of information in today's video. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more health tips and insights. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment below. Sharing is caring, so if you know someone who could benefit from this information, please share this video with them. Together, we can spread awareness and help more people take charge of their health. See you in the next episode.